two, one. International Network presents Uncle Stu, the old man on the block. I just wanted to know, do you have a problem saying no? No, I am not going to give you any money today. No, you cannot go outside today. No, I am not going to be able to make that appointment today. No, I cannot loan you any money. No, no, no. I have noticed that in order to be very protective of yourself, you have to learn how to say no. No is a very beautiful word. It is a powerful word. It is a word that can protect you. The problem that I notice is that there are many people who has a problem saying no. And if you're one of those people that have a problem saying no, then let's get into why you might be feeling this way. Number one, many people have a problem saying no because they are what will be known as people pleasers. These people, or it might be you, and I used to be one as well, we have a problem saying you no know because we don't want to hurt no one's feeling, even at the expense of ourself. We want people to like us. We want people to love us. We want people to adore us. But at what cost does that come at? You go and you try to do everything for everybody. Even at the expense of your money, at the expense of your own comfort, at the expense of your peace, and we can continue to add and add and add at the cost of people pleasing. And the reality is, at the end of the day, we can run around and people please but when we no longer have it, when we no longer can do it, where are the very people that we spent so much time pleasing? I've lived life long enough to know that the more people you attempt to please, that when it's time for it to be reciprocated, those very people that you tried to please is not there for you. It's not there for you and that's a fact and that's a reality another reason why people want to be people pleasers is because they feel that the word no is a curse word hmm just think about it I've heard people say I have a hard time saying no because I was always taught to serve. I was always taught to be a part of something. I was always taught to do something. Whether that came from a, a religious belief or a leadership belief. But the reality is that saying no to even in serving someone is because it may cost you more than it would cost them. Let's take an example. Some people actually use you or I because of their irresponsibilities, their lack of accountability. For example, they want to borrow money or they want to buy material things but they haven't paid any bills. They lack money management skills. They lack accountability in their finances or even in their personal life. Now, some people lack these things because they have people like you who don't say no. So guess what? You are what they call an enabler. What's an enabler? It is someone who enables a person 
to continue in their bad behavior. Now, when we are enabling people in their bad behavior, it is because we are constantly trying to please a bad behavior. People that usually please is bad behavior, I have to say it, it's us as parents. A lot of times as parents, we don't want to tell our children no. Especially even our adult children. They didn't pay the electric bill or they didn't pay the gas bill. And when you go to inquire, you find out that they mismanage badly their money. So as parents, we won't want to see our kids in the dark or we don't want them to starve. So we just give it to them. Or, what's even worse, we don't want to say no because we grew up in lack. So we figure we try to overcompensate by giving them things that we didn't have. And the reality is, we're just enabling them to be irresponsible and later have extremely bad behaviors. So we can't overcompensate for what we didn't have. So sometimes we gotta say no. Now, I need you to feel good about your no. And what I mean by feeling good about saying no. You have to get to that point that when you say no, mean it, follow through with it, and be at peace. Mean it, follow through, and be at peace. If I know that I cannot afford to give you $20 regardless of the fact that you can promise it back to me in two days or three days or a week. No, I can't give you $20. I'm not even going to apologize. You know how we like to say, no, I can't give you $20. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? What are you sorry for? What are you apologizing for? Apologizing for what? Saying no? No, I can't give it to you. No, I don't want to give it to you. And I don't have to give you an explanation for my no. Uh oh. <laughs> In the words of another content creator, I'm about to piss somebody off. No, I don't have to give you a reason for me to tell you no. Now, for certain things, maybe. But for majority of my no, no, I don't owe you an explanation. I have to cancel this appointment. Let us set up another appointment. No, I don't owe you an explanation for why I have to cancel this appointment. No, I cannot give you $20. And I don't owe you an explanation for why I can't give you $20. And I'm going to tell you something right here, right now. I don't care if you have it to give. You still have a right to say no. I can be sitting on two, three, four thousand dollars. It's two, three, four thousand dollars that either A, I work for earned, saved, or invested. And no, I don't have to give you $20 all because I have $4,000. I don't have to give you a job. I don't owe you anything. So 
this short video is simply to give you a little breath. Just a, a little breather. That it is okay to say no without an explanation. So today, one person at a time, one event at a time. Learn to say no. There will be more added onto this understanding of no. But for now, do me a favor. Write in the comments and let me know if you have a problem saying no. And it's okay if you do because we can work on that together. It took me a while before I learned how to live in my peace with just saying no. This is Uncle Stu, old man on the block. Hit that like. Send me a comment if you like these types of videos. Share it with someone that might have a problem saying no. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, become a subscriber. You're not just a number to me. You're a person. So don't tell me no. At least not that way anyway. Well, you have a blessed and wonderful day.